Pretty good, James Johnson. Chris McNutt. Good to meet you. Yeah, so likewise. So, well, what is that all about? So it's uh, we've got a bill, constitutional carry. It's House Bill 357. Right. Um, it's been the number one priority of the Republican Party of Texas platform for three sessions in yeah. a row. Uh, we were hoping that it was going to be a little bit better chance of it, uh, you know, getting some traction this session now with a new speaker, with Speaker Bonin uh, being the new Speaker of the House. Uh, he promised about a month and a half ago that we'd have a quick hearing. Sure. Uh, so far, he's been blocking it. Um, he appointed an anti-gun chair to to the committee where the bill is currently assigned. Right. So we're just uh, going around talking to supporters in the area uh, right, to right, encourage right. him to, um, you know, stop blocking the bill and instead just start advancing it. So I, I did want to leave one of these on his house just so that way he knows that, you know, we're we're out here just to you know just kind of show them a message and then uh so what's your take on all this your, your what do you mean? personal opinion about that oh I, yeah i support constitutional carry that's why oh, i'm sure. out here yeah yeah sure. I'm, I'm the executive director of our of our group oh, of our cool. organization how many people yeah. in your organization so we've got about five thousand dues paying recurring members and then uh, it's about 300 something thousand people that have at least donated or signed a petition within right. the last six years that we've been in existence. That's cool. Do you have lobbyists and stuff like that? So I, I do the limited lobbying at the Capitol. Uh, primarily, we use our members to lobby for us. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I mean, I, I visit up there every so often, but I'm not an actual registered lobbyist because I don't, that's not really the main part of my job. I don't even know what it takes to be a lobbyist. I heard the name tossed around, but. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're so we're like a little bit different from the, the NRA and GOAs where, you know, we pretty much use our members to, to lobby and call, you know, the, their constituents directly to, to call the politicians versus actually trying to cozy up and, and right. buddy up to the politicians. Because right. that's we we feel that's kind of where you get spun if you get, you know, sucked sucked into these, you know, legislative circles, you know, they'll try to pull, you know, wool over your eyes and, sure. you know, pacify you. So that that's kind of our stance on it. They'll be pacified. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll go put this. I'll go put this on his door if okay, I could have sure. another one. Yeah, I absolutely. Can, I can actually get on there and check it out. Mm. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, I, I didn't want to just go walking up there because I thought that was weird with the state troopers uh, staking out and so. But but as important as he is, I'm sure he's got. They call it a stake out. I mean, <laughs> I, I do. Have, I have water. Boy. I have water in there and an energy drink that's about it <laughs> yeah. yeah i just wanted that's why i want to talk to you so that way i don't like send up any alarms or anything like that yeah so. man yeah i'll, I'll go y'all's jobs are i'll put this on this door and that way so have you tried contacting them at all or what yeah yeah we've uh, we've reached out to his office and also our bill sponsor state representative jonathan sticklin um you know has been working with him uh, so far, we haven't got anything. He's been trying to put the blame on Pancho Navarro as the, the, the chair of the committee that it's uh -huh. in. Um, but at the end of the day, he's the one that appointed him to that position. So the responsibility, you know, rests uh, on his shoulders. And, and he hasn't seen, received no contact back from him? Mm -mm. Like emails or phone calls or what? You try to call him on the yeah, phone? Call, call, email. We we did, we, so we, we actually tried contacting Governor Abbott too. It took him about probably a month or two before we got a response, although that's a little understandable because of the position that oh, sure. that he's in sure. so, um, but i also ran into his chief of staff in person too so i think that gave them a little urgency oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no he didn't contact you back yet mm -mm. well i know i was in the army i lived in kentucky for a while in the army and i contacted uh whoever the representative is there about something i eat on like five times and never got a response back <laughs> i guess that's about par for yeah. people but yeah, I thought that it was a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for talking. Your name to me. was Chris McNutt. Chris McNutt. I, I've got a business card if you want me to leave it. Yeah, with I, heck yeah. yeah. So this is different from the from the keys. Bad gun. That's a sweet car. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just a rental. Is it? Yeah. Well, they got, we got Impalas 
Don't they? Are sergeants and lieutenants driving Paulas? No. The tours. The tours, that's right. <laughs> that looks sharp though. I like that color. So this is like a better, this is, this bill would be better than the Second Amendment? I mean, it's more or less reaffirming the Second Amendment. Basically, uh, if you're already a law-abiding person that's able to, you know, possess, legally possess a, a firearm, then we believe that you should be able to carry it without having to... To you know, go get like a concealed handgun license, or is that what right. you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. Currently, there's uh, 16 states that have already passed <coughs> constitutional carry law. South Dakota, North Dakota, and Oklahoma all passed it this year. Um, I think Arizona is a constitutional carry yep. state as well. Yep, they are. Uh, 31 states, actually it might even be higher now, I can't remember, uh, have um, essentially uh, constitutional carry for open carry. Yeah. Whereas, you know, if you have a handgun openly carrying it, you don't need a permit. It's like when you conceal it is when you actually have to have the permit. So Texas has been kind of really behind the curve, you know, on that for a while since, you know, we just got licensed open carry back in, was it 16? Mm -hmm. So uh, we're really just trying to put the, the you know, the, the handgun in Texas on the same level of the playing field that, you know, rifle and shotgun. Because, you know, I, as, as you know, if I wanted to put a, you know, a rifle or shotgun on my back, I could walk up and down the street, you know, without having a permit now probably not the, the smartest idea yeah. to do you know if you if you you know don't want to draw attention but you know and, it's still perfectly legal i think legal. That a lot of people do that just for attention yeah but well i mean it, the, the move you know like the open carry movement i mean that was kind of born out of, like it, it goes hand in hand with the constitutional carry thing and i think that was the way that they they went about it to try to bring attention to the issue to try to to make it okay uh, but instead we only got licensed open carry so it's kind of a you know those backroom deals to try to pacify gun owners more or less that, that was the compromise version that came out of that was licensed open open carry instead of yeah. you know constitutional carry or unlicensed open carry no no so, I, I get what you're saying so did yeah. you drive all the way down there did you fly and, oh no what? i i flew oh dad God. yeah i was in uh in lubbock and amarillo the last two days uh doing the same thing for a couple of uh, speaker bonin's top lieutenants uh, dustin burroughs he's the republican caucus chair and uh also for price he's the the chair of the calendars committee so they're you know two very influential did you get in touch with those guys i spoke with his communications direct uh dustin burroughs communications director at the district office yesterday and um and i did hear reports you know because i i pretty i po uh, record and post a video to our facebook page you know while i'm out doing this just so our members know and see what we're doing and uh on i noticed on the comments yesterday on uh representative burroughs's uh, post that you know he, people that were calling his office were telling him that he doesn't support the bill because you know he's he's telling everybody that it'll allow criminals to carry which you know it's not it's not true so this is a law abiding citizen with no criminal yeah. record yeah that, that, that's what i'm talking about so have you have you enjoyed all of lake jackson texas not quite. I, I wish I could spend some more time out here because it does seem. I, I, so I live in the Richardson area, which okay. is in Dallas. So yep. it's uh, this is a little more calm, laid back, more peaceful. <laughs> kinda, I'm telling you, this kind of more of what I what I a great I place prefer. to be. Yeah, <laughs> I love it here. So, so if fun. you if you go down and drive to Blue Water Highway, that's a, it runs along the whole beach, and you can I don't know if the ocean's angry today or not, but usually it's nice and it's a pretty scenery. So, is that down like Freeport area? Or? Yeah, if you if you go down what 332 to 3005 is the actual Blue Water Highway. It costs you two dollars to get across the toll bridge, okay. and then two dollars back. But it's it's a pretty cool drive. So if you want to go to Galveston after this and check yeah, it out, it's, it's a pretty good way to get there. Okay, cool. Well, appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So y'all heading getting back after this, or what do you? No, well, so I'm, I'm going to be in the area. I mean, I've got a list of different elected officials, donors, TXGR members and stuff that I'm going to be lid dropping just to try to encourage them to, to, to call Speaker Bonin and just kind of turn up the pressure, get them to do the right thing. Yeah, yeah, so. that's, that's what I'm talking about. Man, it, pleasure to meet you. Yeah, pleasure likewise. You. Yeah, and thank you all for everything you do. Sorry, absolutely. Careful, absolutely. I'll go put this on yeah, his door right it. now. And we'll be careful now. <laughs>